Today I've got a unique video uh, for you, and this is going to cover uh, what we can learn about strength training uh, from using a wrench. So most of you have used a wrench before here, okay? I've got my hip thruster here. And let's say I'm trying to create torque, because torque is turning force. So that's how the body moves as well. You move through rotation. So the muscles create muscle force, which creates joint torque. It turns about a joint. So the same thing happens when you use a wrench. So if you can think about a wrench, let's say I was trying to use this wrench very inefficiently. I would probably push at an angle really far down and just not use much force. So if I was doing this, you could see that this wouldn't produce a lot of torque. Well, what are the three ways in which I can improve torque using this wrench? The first way is to improve the angle at which I push upon the wrench. So if I'm pushing like this, I want to be perpendicular to this wrench. That way all of my force is effective force pushing straight against the wrench. So I would move my angle attack to here. Now I'm pushing at a perpendicular angle, which is going to increase torque. Okay, the second thing I can do is just push harder. And then the third thing is move up and increase the lever arm. So when I do that, now you can see I can turn the bolt. Okay? So, I'm going to review this. Three ways to increase torque production using a wrench. The first way, say I'm like this. The first way is to make sure I'm pushing perpendicularly. The second way is to increase the force. And the third way is just move out the lever. All right? Levers, the lever is equally as important as the force you're pushing into the wrench because you multiply the two together to get torque. Okay, so using the same concept, now we can think of muscles here. So, here I've got a rudimentary drawing of the gluteus maximus here. And you can see right here that this is a medium-sized glute. Well, through strength training, you can hypertrophy muscles, you can grow muscles, and then they can produce greater torque. But, you actually improve torque production through th all three mechanisms, and let me show you how. So let's say the joint center is like right here, the hip joint center. Alright, I am going to do, I, I, I believe that some of my clients have doubled their glute mass in six months, and I have some before and after pictures with bikini competitors where you can see they probably double their muscle mass. So what does that do? So if you take a glute like this, if you look, first of all, the femur, you know, comes down like this. So if you look at what, what is the angle of attack of these glute fibers on the femur, is that perpendicular? No, it's not. It's coming in at an angle like that. Okay? The glute muscle is what creates the force. That's what creates the pushing, uh, or in, in actually the pulling. That's what creates the pulling on the, on the femur. And so a larger glute is going to increase force. And then the lever arm is just simply the horizontal distance between the, the glute fibers and here. So that's the distance. So if you do strength train, a strength training regimen, say you, you lift weights for six months, and you increase the size of your glutes by, say, 30%, now the glute comes like this. All right? And now you've got more glute volume, okay? Well, what does this do? What does this do to torque? All right, you've got way more surface area here. We've got way more cross-sectional area, more muscle volume, so you have more contractile units to produce force. You've also, now look at this angle of attack coming onto the femur. Now it's coming in at a more perpendicular angle. So you've got greater force, a more efficient line of force, and now look at this moment arm here. Look at the leverage. This is called a muscle moment arm, but it's, a, it's indicative of its leverage. So all of the fibers, in the, deep down in the center are more of the type 1 fibers, on the outside are more of the type 2 fibers, and if torque equals force times perpendicular distance, then you can see 
You're, but it, uh, it's, it's the effective force, right? It's the uh, perpendicular force times the, the perpendicular distance. So you're going to get greater force, more efficient force, which is going to increase this even more, and you're going to increase the moment arm. So what we showed in my recent manual that I put out, the biomechanics of the squat and deadlift manual in my 2x4 product, we showed that a 30% increase in glute volume actually led to a 50% increase in torque production. So that just goes to show you that you, you gain strength. A bigger muscle can create greater torque production. And it's very valuable for all, all sorts of endeavors, whether it's ath athletics or strength or um, you know, sprinting or things like that, jumping. Greater glute mass is going to equal greater hip extension torque. Thanks for watching the video.